In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the best homemade spring rolls ever. They are fresh, they are crispy, they are flavorful, and everything is entirely made from scratch. So I'm going to show you how to make the wrap, how to make the filling, how to wrap it, how to properly fry it. Everything is here. So without talking too much, let us dive right into the video. These are the ingredients we're going to need to make our spring rolls. We're going to need some all-purpose flour, a little bit of sugar, some cornstarch, a little bit of salt. I'm using fresh thyme. I'm also going to use some carrot spring onions garlic because i love garlic bell peppers you can use as much as little as you want cabbage a little bit of scotch bonnet pepper and of course spices and seasonings the full ingredient list and their quantities are in the description box so please check it out so we'll start by mixing our dry ingredients together the flour the sugar salt cornstarch everything that is dry you're going to mix them and then you're going to give it a quick whisk make sure that nothing is lumpy on any side then we are going to go in with some water you want to be careful with the amount of water that you add here so i always advise that you add the water carefully in bits however if you're following this recipe just check the description box for the exact amount of water that i've used now you're going to mix this and whisk this until it turns into a really smooth batter just like this you can make your batter slightly runny but i like when my samosa wraps i am um, my spring roll wraps sorry i thicker than the average one now once you do that you're going to let that rest and set it aside while that is resting we're going to prep our vegetables i'm going to be of course using some carrots the cabbage you want to make sure that you're slicing the cabbage as thinly as you can and then you're also going to be using some bell peppers the bell peppers of course you can use other colors of bell peppers that you have available to you i'm just going to use green here because i am trying to make sure that it is really really simple right and then of course i'm also going to be using some spring onions the amount of spring onions you want to use is only honestly dependent on you once you've set all of that aside you're going to get your chicken breast and to that you're going to add some salt and black pepper that is all you want to add here please do not over season this because it is totally unnecessary so once you do that you're going to transfer that into a food processor and then you're going to process this essentially what i'm doing is i'm just mincing this I found that it is easier to work like this instead of cooking it and then coming back to mince it, just mince it directly from the get go. Now, in the pot, you're going to add some vegetable oil and then let that eat up for a bit before going in with your already minced chicken. You want to stir that and allow it to cook for a couple of minutes because it's already minced. Of course, it is even going to take more short or lesser time to cook now i'm going to add my fresh thyme i decided to use fresh thyme for this recipe and honestly it made a huge huge difference so if you have fresh thyme i mean fresh ingredients are always better but if you have it please use it i'm also going to add the garlic and pepper the pepper is optional is because i'm nigerian so we like a little bit of heat once you stir that to combine you're now going to go in with the cabbage the carrots the bell peppers the spring onions and your spices and seasonings once you've added that all you want to do now is make sure you're stirring everything to combine and you're also cooking on medium to low heat you want to cook until the cabbage or the vegetables have wilted a bit just like this but they also need to retain a little bit of crunch you will notice that they still look vibrant which is what we need so please make sure that yours doesn't look wonky now our butter is well rested you can see it's even more runny than it was earlier that's because it's rested you know, then you're gonna get a brush my brush is a little bit thicker than the average brush used so it's also going to affect the consistency or the thickness of my spring roll wrap so if you're using like a brush with thinner um brussels is that what it's called please correct me if that's not what it's called um you're going to get like a thinner um, samosa wraps or spring roll wraps i feel like i almost always say samosa but please it's spring rolls um now once you do that you're going to do this on low heat and after a couple of minutes it should cook and then you're going to remove this this is very very hot and you want to be very very fast especially if you're making spring rolls wrap that are as thick as the one i am making you want to be very very fast so you don't hurt yourself this is what it should look like you can see that it's very thick it doesn't look thin at all and this is what everything looks like we are not going to cut this at all we're going to use all of them whole as they are what you want to do now is you want to make your um, seal or what's your glue whatever you want to call it we're just going to add a little bit of water and some all-purpose flour you want to turn it into a thick paste just like this and this is what we're going to use to seal our spring rolls to make sure that they don't bust open when 
we are frying now what you're going to do is you're going to take your spring roll wrap put in as much or as little filling as you want it's important that you do not overfill this so that you're able to roll this properly now you roll in first and then you roll the sides before completing the rolling this is going to make sure that nothing comes like the filling does not bust open or come open when you are frying you're also now going to get the sealant and then roll that in properly this is going to make sure that it does not bust open when you are frying this is exactly what your spring roll should look like like you see or as you can see it is thicker than the average spring roll that you get which is exactly what i wanted all i'm just doing now is removing like the rough edges and just cutting it with a kitchen scissors nothing too fancy if you don't want that you don't have to do it however if you're doing it you want to be very very careful so you don't like cut it open just like what i'm going to do here by mistake so so you want to be really really careful why am i here you guys in case it's the first time you're hearing my voice or in case it's the first time you're coming across a video from my channel hi everyone my name is daniel i am a digital content creator and youtuber based in lagos nigeria i share recipe videos like this every week premium quality content on how to make different recipes african recipes nigerian recipes name it you're going to get it on this channel and they are always good so if you found this video helpful and if you found any other of my video helpful please click on the subscribe button click on the share button click on the like button just to let the algorithm know that you found the video helpful now back to our spring rolls you want to make sure that you're deep frying your spring rolls and not frying them in shallow oil so that they don't come out one key or looking very ugly and when you're frying this golden brown is what you should be looking for to fry this at go on to get the golden brown look should take anywhere between five minutes to seven minutes depending on the amount of heat that you are using and now our spring rolls are ready let us open this so you guys can see how beautiful this is also it is very very crunchy on the outside which is why i love it everything about the spring roll is so so good let me know if you try this recipe and definitely subscribe to my channel for more recipes see you guys in my next video